Uh, can I tell you something? Here's this one reality that we need to at least put in our minds. You can be doing the right thing, but if it's out of order, it becomes the wrong thing. In other words, if, if I don't do things in the sequence in which God gave them, then I can be doing the wrong thing even though it's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do at the wrong time. It's still a sin. Did you know that? Let me give you an example. Sex is a good example of that. According to God's word, sex has been established for marriage. So here's how it works. Before you have sex with somebody, you, you should have that commitment of marriage. Now, for years, the church didn't talk about sex. And so we were left out there going, man, what do we do with this? It was almost as if we felt like God didn't like it. But I want to tell you something. If you study the Bible and you understand the creation story and you understand where God's coming from, you'll actually understand God's the one who designed sex. And for a Christian, I just say, amen. That's awesome. <laughs> There's some things you should celebrate about God, and I personally believe that's one of them. All right? The truth is he designed it. God gave the guys with the guy thing and the girls with the girl things, and that stuff works together, and it's awesome. So sex in itself is not a sin, correct? No. It wasn't like God looked down from heaven and saw Adam and Eve that first time. They're down there, and he goes, what are y'all doing? You're to get away from her. That's great. No, it wasn't like that. God designed it. But here's what also God knows. God knows that sex is a bonding agent. And it bonds together the soul and the spirit of two people with such a bond, it's not easily undone. And so what God says is this, is he knows that there's devastating consequences when you bond a soul and a spirit together without an actual commitment. So God said, rather than have your guts torn out at every corner, what I want you to know is, is you need to be committed to each other first, and then you have sex, and I'll bond you together in an incredible spiritual circumstance. See, something came before something else. Is sex wrong? No, but it's wrong when it's out of order. And so when it's out of order, we get into trouble, and the consequences are devastating.